say award winning? Um, it's won a lot of awards, actually. Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, the title of the book is Hothead. My name is Damon Swade. The book uh, came out in 2011. Um, it was number one in gay romance on Amazon for six months. Um, it actually crossed over into the top 100 in romance across all of Amazon, and it stays pretty much in the top 100 at all times because it's been something of a sensation. But it was a little bit of a lightning strike book, and um, embraced by the first responder community, weirdly, by firefighters, police officers, EMTs. Um, I have a ton of straight readers. I have a ton of male readers. Now, why, um, why do you think, I mean, what is it, what is it about? Um, Hothead is about, it's actually, I always say it's a love letter to New York. It's about firefighters in porn in New York City after 9-11. So the book is uh, really about the possibilities of a happy ending after 9-11. And obviously, the firefighter community, the FDNY, was really traumatized by 9-11. But also a lot of shocking changes happened in the FDNY after 9-11 because people started really examining their lives. A lot of people came out. A lot of people got divorced. A lot of people got married. And so... Also, the, you had a huge number of people to replace. Same as I had a huge... Exactly. Difference. And it also... the. The FDNY is very much an old guard in, um, institution, and that's changing. And because so many people died, and because there's so many young people coming up, things are shifting. They're treating LGBT people differently. They're treating New York differently. And I think they're perceived differently. So Hothead was really my response. So, so to, this is a story about a firefighter? It's about a firefighter who falls in love with his best friend from childhood. And uh, it's actually based on a true story. The true story is that the firefighter that I knew was in love with his best friend, and the friend died in 9-11 um, before he could ever confess his feelings. And so when he told me the story, it was, it, I was so moved. I thought, oh, if I'm going to write a gay romance, I'm going to write the story of these two men finding their happy ending. And so Hothead is okay. really the so, retelling. So, so you, you changed the ending. I changed history. I changed history. Changed history. Oh. And, and you've gotten, where, were there any breakthrough reviews, like places that you got Sure, attention? I've been... Um, now I'm talking about where you ordinarily, a gay romance would never be. Actually, my one of the things that my book did is because it crossed over into so much mainstream, we were in RT Book Reviews, which is the largest romance publication, USA Today, Publishers Weekly, Library Journal. Um, Gay romance has really crossed over into mainstream romance, and we Were have. Were there any any criticisms? Is it that gay romance has the same it's rules funny, as straight romance? Same rules as straight romance. It's just two guys, um, and it's it's funny actually. It has we, to have a happy ending, though, right? All it has to have is a relationship and a happy ending, and so in a weird. And even a straight romance can be can be a, uh, has to have a happy ending too. All, that's the only rule in a in a romance novel. The only rule is relationship is central, happy ending. That's the only rule. Absolutely. And who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I don't. Remember. Remember not that. a happy ending. <laughs> Edward Albee not known for his romance novels, sadly. Oh, so that's a different genre. That is a very, and very where different Where can genre. they get the, the um, hot, hot head? Is a, hot head is available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, um, the Apple iTunes store, Kobo. Uh, my Do publisher is electronic Spin edition? Do they sell oh, yeah. It's, in, it's actually in five languages. It's in Spanish, French, German, Italian, well, How Korean. many have you sold so far? Do you know? Oh, it's, it's, a ten, it's almost 100,000 copies. Well, congratulations. It's been a huge hit. It's been a huge, huge well, hit. It's an audio book now. Well, I will look forward to, you know, to seeing. I don't know if I have time to read, but I look forward to hearing more about your book. Thank, Thank you. you very much.